Thank you, Jeff. And I had to go from my wolf pack symbol, symbol to uh, Sun Devil. And I don't know why we do this for Sun Devil, but that's what we do. Uh, so I actually wanted to talk a little bit about something that Jeff brought up here. How many of you are from, if you're from a university, how many of you are from business schools, for those that are from universities? How about anybody from an engineering school here? OK, so we have a couple from engineering backgrounds. So uh, where I'm going to just throw out a couple of ideas, and then I'll leave it at that, because the idea is not to talk about our particular programs and so on. You're welcome to visit the College of Technology and Innovation website if you'd like to learn more about what we do. Uh, one of the things that I think that we need to work on more in higher ed, and the reason I left NC State to pursue the opportunity that I did at Arizona State, is something that was commented on earlier. President Michael Crow is a very entrepreneurial leader and is really working toward innovating higher ed. And one of the things that we are working on at Arizona State is creating opportunities for an access to entrepreneurship for all. Um, a personal pet peeve and bias of mine, which I'm allowed to say because I came out of a business school, that's what my graduate degrees are in, and that's where I spent the first 15 years of my career, is that we are too often too business school centric in terms of what we do by way of entrepreneurship education. And there are an occasional course or two in an engineering college, but they either way are very siloed. And then occasionally you bring people together for one class, one time, one semester, and they see each other, they learn to hate each other, and then they go away. So I'm very committed to a different model, one that is centered on innovation, and that's really not about a single discipline. And, and you might think of it, from my perspective, I think of it as the new technical liberal arts for the 21st century. So that's a big piece of what, uh, what we are trying to build, is a different model and a different concept, and also very strongly committed to technology-based entrepreneurship. So while I agree and believe it is true that not many new starts use fundamentally new IP as the basis for their company, most companies today do rely on some form of either recombination of or application, creative application of technology. And we need to be more conversant in that in terms of how we're training up our students. So uh, our commitment is to technology-based entrepreneurship and creating mechanisms for our students to engage in technology-based entrepreneurship, no matter what field they come from and are interested in. So that includes things like uh, we do a lot of training and programming related to engineering design, or let's just call it design, design and prototyping, even for non-engineers. So how do we bring together, whether you are a teacher education student, a humanities student, an art student, the idea of thinking in terms of design. Um, one of the things that I'm very committed to building and that we're working toward is working on this concept of innovation to learn and learning to innovate. And recognizing that in order to do that, we need to be committed to a conceiving, designing, and building culture. Um, my personal opinion is that we have to get past thinking about entrepreneurship as a business plan. And then as if the thing that you are going to sell or deliver of value uh, occurs and is brought into being by magic. And so we're very focused on the idea of giving students the opportunity to deal with the and, and experience the process of bringing something completely to fruition. Not just planning it and analyzing it, but actually working through the process of making it, building something, whatever that system or thing might be, and bringing it into being. And so part of what that means is we need to provide experiences that go beyond our standard frame of thinking, which is one semester or maybe even two semesters if it was a really long commitment. But being involved in something that is an ongoing experience that got, struggles through the challenges of finding resources and needs to be carried on and transitions in leadership, even if your role in it is gone. So several of the things that we have oh, that we're working on, including the technological entrepreneurship degree, are things related to social entrepreneurship where we can't just drop in a group of students to build a solution and then they pop back out, but rather focusing on relationships with communities. Students come in and out of those engagements and have to assume leadership roles, have to worry about transitions in leadership, have to worry about resourcing and continuing to finance the operation, but thinking of them more as ongoing enterprises, if you will, and ongoing relationships that require continuous engagement and require the students to think about these things as having a life of their own. So uh, one of the key pieces that we continue to try to work on is also thinking through economic development as it relates to and as an output of entrepreneurship. 
And we do this through what we call collaboratories, which are focused on critical industry sectors in the state of Arizona, which translate nationally and globally as well. Uh, and we're very focused from the standpoint of engaging our students in those activities to recognize what entrepreneurship means from an impact standpoint, and that the objective is to develop economic activity and contribute to the economic activity of the region. So one example quickly before my time is up, we have one of our collaboratories is called the Aerospace and Defense Research Collaboratory. Our focus is on the entire supply chain. It so happens that Arizona has a very strong defense sector. Most of the prime defense contractors are located in Arizona. And we have, of course, then hundreds of small enterprises that are focused around that. Our students in the Technological Entrepreneurship Program are required to engage in the Aerospace and Defense Collaboratory. And by research, we mean everything from undergraduate research to fundamental research that our engineering programs are involved in. And students working on projects in an ongoing way, whether that's a small project that's a capstone project or a consulting project for a small business or in fundamental research in corporate labs. So part of what we try to do as our process of engaging our students in economic activity and in entrepreneurial activity is requiring, as part of their educational process, this engagement in critical industry sectors so that they have both a commitment to the region. There are many reasons why this pays off in the area. And from this, we've seen many spin-outs of small companies as they have gone into the large companies, seen examples of problems that need to be fixed, brought that back, and then begun working on that as part of the rest of their educational experience, whether that's graduate or undergraduate level. So that's one example. We have lots of commitment and work in the alternative energy sector as well, which is another core sector in the state of Arizona.